You have already heard the news that Avdivka has fallen into Russian hands after months of fighting. Let us walk you through the geography and what Russia could do next. Avdivka is situated directly to the north of the city of Donetsk, which has been under the authority of independent rebels supported by Russia since the year 2014. It is an important route that connects Donetsk to other cities in the Donbass region of eastern Ukraine. Ukraine was able to maintain pressure on Donetsk since they had control over Avdivka. Putin was concerned about the everyday shelling from Avdivka into Donetsk, and now this has stopped. Some of the largest coke plants in Europe are located in Avdivka. One of the most important components in the manufacturing of steel is coke. Jobs are created at the plant, and it also contributes to Ukraine's economic worth. Since the facility has been totally bombed, it is detrimental to Ukraine's economy and industry. Avdivka had amassed a significant amount of symbolic significance in both Russia and Ukraine. The Ukraine considered the maintenance of Avdivka to be of utmost importance to prevent Russia and the separatists from gaining full control over the Donbass region. The capture of Avdivka represents a huge step forward for Russia in its efforts to undermine the Ukrainian government. Because Russia has taken control of Avdivka, it may be able to advance farther north and west towards significant Ukrainian cities. There is a possibility that Kramatorsk, Slovyansk, Kostyantinivka, Pokrovsk and Dnipro are among the cities that are placed in danger. In the Donetsk province, Kramatorsk is a sizable city around 65 kilometers northwest of Avdiivka. It functions as the headquarters of the Ukrainian armed forces for the Donbass Peninsula. An additional significant city in the Donetsk province, Slovyansk, is located around 85 kilometers northwest of Avdiivka. In 2014, pro-Russian insurgents had previously taken control of it, but Ukraine was able to reclaim it with their own forces. The town of Kostyantinivka is a significant traffic center that is situated around 35 kilometers to the northwest of Avdiivka and Kramatorsk. Located around 55 kilometers west of Avdiivka, Pokrovsk is a city in the Donetsk province. Bases and supply depots for the Ukrainian military can be found here in varying numbers. And last, located around 130 kilometers to the northwest of Avdiivka, Dnipro is a prominent city that is located on the Dnipro River. The capture of it could pose a substantial threat to the Ukrainian government's supply channels. From a geographical standpoint, Avdiivka is located around 15 to 20 kilometers to the north of the border that existed before the conflict between the Donetsk area of Ukraine and the Donetsk People's Republic, which rebels supported by Russia governs. Consequently, it serves as a forward base from which Russia could potentially expand farther into territory held by the Ukrainians. Now, do you think Ukraine can save Donetsk Oblast? Let us know in the comments. We discuss such interesting subjects every day. Please subscribe to the channel and share and like the videos.